we actually be getting some legitimate justice here in the case of the Uvalde school shooting? The former Uvalde school's police chief and another former officer have been indicted. Yay! I wish I had like a clap, like an applause button. Uh, and another former officer have been indicted over their role in the delayed police response to the 2022 massacre at Robb Elementary School. The tragic event left 19 children and two teachers dead, marking one of the deadliest school shootings in U.S. history. Pete Ardondo, which Abba wrote a song about in 1974. Uh, Ardondo, the former Uvalde School's police chief, was booked and released from jail following his indictment on 10 counts of child endangerment. Only 10? There was 19, 19 kids. We should go for 19 here. According to the Uvalde County Sheriff, uh, Ruben Nolasco, Ardondo was booked on 10 counts of child endangerment and released. Uh, Nolasco confirmed the text message to the Associated Press. In addition to Ardondo, the former school officer, uh, Adrian Gonzalez was also indicted by a grand jury in multiple counts of felony child endangerment and abandonment. These indictments mark the first criminal charges brought against officers in connection with the Robb Elementary School shooting. The school shooting occurred on May 24, 2022, when an 18-year-old gunman opened fire in a fourth-grade classroom. Despite the immediate threat, police waited more than 70 minutes. 70 minutes. And if you're thinking there's like two officers out there, there was hundreds Two to three hundred, I believe, was the final count before entering the classroom to confront and neutralize the gunman. Despite, uh, during this period, the gunman continued to fire his AR-15 style rifle, resulting in a tragic loss of life. The slow and criticized police response has been the subject of numerous reports and investigations. A report by Texas lawmakers described the response as a failure to prioritize saving innocent lives over their own safety, which it fucking was. Yep. These dumb fucks that went into the school that call themselves police officers. One of them paused for a moment to put some Purell on their hands. Well, well you know, it was during the pandemic, right? Yeah. Well, I want to get yeah, that. I want to get know. that uh, that virus while you hear literally children being executed down the hall. Use that Purell, motherfucker. I like to fucking Purell him with <laughs> some fucking chemical, like we saw in Breaking Bad, where bodies disintegrate when you touch it. The Justice Department's report echoed this uh, sentiment detailing cascading failures by the police who waited far too long to confront the gunman and failed to establish an effective command post. In response to the indictments, Uvalde District Attorney Christina Mitchell confirmed the charges but did not immediately return messages seeking further comment. Efforts to reach the former attorney for Ardondo were unsuccessful and contact information for Gonzalez could not be found. The indictments came over two years after the shooting, which saw a massive response from 376. Even worse than I fucking said. How, how do you... Here's the thing. You have a small Uvalde's, army. Uvalde's, Uvalde's not that big, right? It's not. So 376 law enforcement officers including state police, Uvalde police, school officers, border patrol. They called in the masses. There were communities next to Uvalde that had no representation for law enforcement whatsoever. Yeah. And these fucks were just standing outside. You literally had a more than a platoon. <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> you you could have invaded a country you with could have. 376 officers. You could have. You could have invaded. You could have taken over Rhode Island <laughs> with, with these officers. But they couldn't go into an elementary school with a crazy person. One crazy person with a gun. One. One. And they are all armed and wearing bulletproof protection. And the I kids had none. Swear to God, I want to put anybody who did not go in there but stood there. Like, okay, y'all, y'all go into the school. You got no guns. You have no weapons. We're gonna let loose a bunch, of like a, a mass murder. Someone who's really good at shooting at people, and we're all gonna stand on the outside and see how well y'all fare. I don't think it's gonna end well. No, it's not going to end well. Uh, and just li like, oh, you thought that those kids could could survive it while you all stood on the outside. Let's see you. Let's see you. Despite well, the shouldn't they wait a second, Tony? Shouldn't they all these kids have been 
you know, had these bulletproof backpacks because isn't that the thing now that kids have to have backpacks that they can use as shields now? They never heard of that. Because we haven't done shit about school shootings. We have bulletproof backpacks? Yes. We have Kevlar backpacks? Yes. I had no idea. I'm going to look that up because I, I know I've looked at it going, I can't believe this. I should buy one of those for my daughter. Despite What the- a sad statement. I know. Yes. Yep. Uh, they are ballistic armor certified. Uh, let's because see. we don't want to do anything about any of this. Let's just have the kids start wearing bulletproof vests to school, basically. Oh, yeah. Sounds like an American way of doing things. Oh, yeah. Yeah, absolutely. They're, you know, they're about $200. They look like a normal backpack. You, Hell, you can even get one in purple with a pink front zipper for like your pencils and stuff. It says atomic defense bulletproof backpack for kids on sale. It's your back to school price for $289. We just At bulletproofzone.com. Jeez. Ooh, different patterns. You can get dogs. You can get unicorns, mm. uh, dinosaurs. They have dinosaurs, princess dinosaurs that have little crowns on them. Because what says lovely accessory for a young girl than a bulletproof backpack with a dinosaur on it with a crown? Could you she ever can look at that while she's being shot at? Could you ever imagine that we'd ever be in this state, in this country? No. Like 20 years ago? No. No, and I want somebody in government to finally make a decision that kids' lives are more important than the NRA. And I say that to you as a gun owner myself. Well, first you have to have to have the citizens decide that first. And that's problem number one. They haven't. We, we can blame our politicians all we want, and I completely agree. We have very inept politicians on every fucking side of everything. But they're put there by people. And there's plenty of people who would rather put their right to have the firearm or some extreme. And I'm again, I'm a gun owner too. I'm not I'm not an NRA member. I fucking think they're nuts. But I am a gun owner too. But we have too many people that are going to put their insecurities, which really is what it all comes down to, ahead of the well being of others, including children. Mm-hmm. And that's what we're living in. It's a bunch of fucking small dick idiots that are too afraid of anything of their own fucking shadow rather than going, hmm, maybe we should have some sort of sensible regulation here so we have less of this shit happening. Well, the guns are already out there. You're right. They are. We're probably not going to get many of them back. And it's not like I want people to go and like raid homes and take guns. But you know what? You put fucking speed bumps in a parking lot. People don't fucking rush through it where people are trying to walk out to their cars. That's that's essentially what we're talking about here. It's not going to solve everything. There's still going to be horrible shootings and shit like that. But you put more speed bumps up, you put a few more barriers up. You know, a lot of people who are out to do this sort of shit, they're lazy as fuck. And sometimes just, you know, a little extra effort they have to put into things, they won't. So let's start putting those roadblocks up. But we can't do that because... You know, Elmer over here is too insecure that, you know, his 37 rifles he needs when the world ends, uh, are he's not going to have access to them. Because, yeah, God knows, those 37 rifles are going to be super effective against fucking missiles and shit. Yeah. Despite the large presence, officers failed to act swiftly, leading to severe criticism of the eventual firing of several officers involved in the response. Rob Elementary School, the site of the tragic shooting, has been permanently closed. In October of 2023, the city broke ground on a new school, symbolizing a step towards healing for the community. However, Uvalde remains divided between residents who seek accountability and those who wish to move past the tragedy. I I understand if you want to move past it, but if you don't hold these people responsible, you're a fucking idiot. Mm Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's a trial that I I would like to watch. I want to watch yeah. that. I don't care if it takes, you know, six months. I, I want sure to watch it. If you like your community, and yeah, this has put a stain on it, and I'm sure there's probably happy memories and all those good things for a lot of people who spent their lives there. And it's really shitty when, like, a big stain comes to your community 
But if you're going to sit there and pre like pretend it didn't happen or let's just move on without ever anyone being held accountable for this much of a fuck up, you're a fucking moron. Mm -hmm. And you are. And look, you need to, to be responsible here. Hold them responsible. Hold the people fucking responsible. For the sake of the fucking children, for the remembrance of those children. Otherwise, you don't give a fuck about the lives of those kids. And that's the reality of it. Unreal. Yeah. So Just, we've we've traded, um, you know, our our firearm obsession for the lives of kids. And, you know, we've, we just had a supermarket shooting. We've had movie theater shootings. We've had concert shootings. Oh, it's an okay trade-off. That's, that's what we would, we'd rather have, you know, free market. We want to buy what we want to buy. Don't tell us to, you know, do anything different. And if we have to trade in a few lives for it, so be it. A few. Basically. <laughs> it's like a fucking school shooting every day of the week. Yeah. Q Brooks and Dunn. Only in America. Want to listen ad free? Want advanced access to all of our interviews before anyone else? Become a True Crime Today Premium Plus subscriber on Apple Podcasts. You get every episode commercial free. So you can binge on True Crime. Until you can binge no more. Search True Crime Today Premium Plus on Apple Podcasts now. Or go to our podcast page and sign up now. More of the Hidden Killers podcast next.